Good kitten internet. Oh, you are good. Oh, now you get up. He was sitting there the entire time without any difficulty and being all calm. hit microphone cord. Uh, unfortunately, Zone Kitty's no longer sitting here because he decided to get up. Okay, as I was saying, uh, I just finished Grindfest. Everybody has better equipment now, and I actually have the correct everything. <laughs> Escape. Run up. Push. Over. Stupid ticking clock. Luckily, it won't be going for too much longer. Why are they faster than me all of a sudden? I've leveled up at least once. Might have been twice? I think it was once for Jack. I mean, even Cecilia is getting close to one-shotting them at this point. I don't know why one of them went first. Need Jack's handpan. Need Rudy to blow it up first. Right. Are you kidding me? Come on. At least there's no timer on the boss battle, so. Really, I have plenty of time in my mind. It's just the stupid random encounters in between. Sun Kitty is lying on the ground under the table. I don't know why. Might as well point this at his own mom. Playing. It's not like I'm doing anything else. Yeah, so this is a lift top coffee table that I'm sitting at, basically. I really like the coffee table. I don't like the material that it's made out of. Anyway, I need my hands back, so... All right. Oh, I meant to heal first. Oh well, I wanted to see if there was anything behind chaos. Well, let's try fighting chaos a second time. This time with the correct spell complement, and also, you know, better everything. Okay, first off, Jack. You are going to Meteor Dive. Cecilia, you're going to just cast Awaken right now, just in case. Rudy, punch her in the face. Meteor Dive, boom. 560 is pretty decent. Yes, I got off Awaken. Okay. This should be a lot- oh wow, I'm faster than her entirely? That doesn't make any sense. Purple Electric, that's fine. Meteor Dive. Now, this is something I've never really cast. I think this means that everybody is 50% resistant to all forms of magic. I think. I'm hoping so. And you're going to start locking on and firing. Meteor Dive. Field. Oh, Earth is now halved. Okay. So it is just one element at a time. Well, Drat. And once more, it tripped up my screen. That's fine. And cannon to the face. Barely any more damage than his attack at this point. Um, meter dive. Mystic Potion Berry. A little overkill, but that's fine. Punch to the face. All I need is Cecilia to be faster than Chaos, and we're fine. Sleep is okay, because you'll see what happens. So, two people are asleep, that's fine. And then the alarm clock immediately pops out and wakes everybody up. No actions lost or anything, it's great. 
Well, since kitty, there's no kitty on kitty cam, I'm gonna remove that. Meteor dive. Um, what can I mystic, by the way? I can mystic prism stick. That apparently hits everybody. Or at least I don't target. Um, Magus Robe is one target. Mist Blazer is one target. I already know what the Breeze Cape does. Mage Staff is one target. Um, actually, I am going to Light Blow Rudy. Rudy, punch. I don't think Chaos is weak against Light, but one way to find out. Alright, now the silence comes out. That's fine. Rudy and Cecilia, okay. Mm, that was more damage, actually. It seems to be weak against Light. Okay. That's good. Meteor Dive. Mystic. Violet Rose, because you might as well. Actually, wait, just use a regular Violet Rose on yourself. Actually, even better. Violet Rose and Cecilia. Oh, no. She can't cast spells this turn, so never mind. But yeah, let's go back to that idea of Meteor Dive. Actually, we're going to do Trickster just to see if she's carrying anything. Um, Violet Rose yourself. I don't care if Rudy's silenced. Rudy's not doing anything. You're going to punch in the face. Really, Rudy's just going to punch in the face for the rest of the time. Has nothing. Okay. That answers that question. Purple Electric on Rudy. Is it going to do 200 and something? Yeah. All right. Cecilia can cast again. That's good. Although, she went faster than Cecilia. That's a little scary to me. Okay. You're going to Meteor Dive. Cecilia, you're actually going to Light Blow Jack. Rudy, just punch. I mean, Jack's doing a lot of good damage right now, but he's not going to be able to maintain that forever. So I don't, I think Meteor Dive will actually remove the element on it. We'll find out really fast. Because I'm going to keep Meteor Diving while I still have the MP. Uh, Cecilia, I want you to now actually Mystic... Um, let's find out what the Mystic Prism Stick actually does. You're going to lock on in this case, because I want him to lose a Force level after hitting Condition Green. Well, this is a good time to Mystic, at least. But unfortunately, Jack's probably going to get silenced, isn't he? Yep. So, Meteor Dive does nothing. That sucked. Mystic! Prism Stick. Oh, it's field. Okay. Please tell me it's not holy. Water is halved. That's not so great. I was hoping to get, like, electricity halved. Okay. You're punching in the face. You're going to Mystic Violet Rose, because might as well. You're going to punch in the face. Honestly, the status effects are no longer a problem. Silence is the only one I'm concerned about, and do I... Does Clear Chime remove Silence, or is that Forgetfulness? Because if it removes Silence, I may just equip it on Cecilia. Confusion. Never mind. Not worth it. Alright, Jack... We're going to try a Meteor Dive. Cecilia, we're going to Mystic Potion Berry because we need healing now. Rudy, just punch. Okay. Why is she now all of a sudden much faster than everybody? That doesn't make any sense. And you silence the people I care about. 
Dang it. I don't even know why I'm bothering with Meteor Dive then. Okay. Stab. Ooh, critical and weak. Nice. Nearly a thousand damage on a single hit. You know what? Just attack. Um. I should have bought more Violet Roses now that I think about it. Rudy, punch. I mean, I'm probably fine at this point. Yep, yeah, yeah, they're dead. Oh, I forgot to use the lucky card. Dang it. Ah. Uh, oh well. I'll have other opportunities. Yeah, that would have been nice, the lucky card. Oh well. Death. It isn't the end, but a new beginning. Our civilization, bound by chaos, has turned your world into a temple of death, where nothing survives. Innocent one, release me from this land and use my powers to revive the dying land of Filgaia. Death Rune. The Death Rune is actually one of the better things for Cecilia in the game. It's actually a huge bonus. It's a 25% of sorcery and, as a result, magic resistance. Okay, there really isn't anything back there. I can't leave without using a Violet Rose, so I'm going to do that. I mean, I can actually just leave the hard way. I know I could, it only took me a minute to get there, but. So, now you notice we're no longer zoomed in. We're gonna go back to town. And we're gonna deal with this situation. First off, in. Second off, church. Third off, buy a whole bunch more violet roses. Because I am chewing through those. Bad. Also, save. So yeah, we are now level 17, 17, 16. Before, we were 16, 15, 15. So we really did level up one to two times per character. There we go, silence has been removed. Out of my way, please. Buy some violet roses. You know what? We're buying 15 of them. Don't care. We also have two new crest graphs, so we're gonna get break back. Or sorry, a vortex back. Forgot we got we gave up vortex, not break. Okay, we're going to dissolve field because it's a garbage, garbage, garbage ability. I really don't understand it. Mm, that might have actually worked against that boss. I don't think it did, though. And then we're going to gain the ability to pump defense, I guess? Ah, absorb magic as MP. Suction! Oh, I still have one more, don't I? Okay. Yep, let's go ahead and gain... Was that Dark Blow? Yeah, Dark Blow. Hee hee hee. Anyway. Oh, we go back to the pub. You have the Crystal Bud? I need it real bad. I can't explain right now, but will you sell it for 5,000 Gela? 5,000 gala. I forgot to grab the treasure chest from behind there. The crystal bud is a token of engagement in these parts. I'm a fish out of water when it comes to these things. It's nice to meet you. I'm Captain Bartholomew. Hey, Bart! Short as usual, eh? It's a crystal bud! When did you... 
I don't know why it fades out and in. Good timing, Drake. Care to smell my crystal bud? <laughs> don't get me wrong, Barthy. Barthy? Not Barty, but Barthy. Barfy? Suddenly reminded of an old Nickelodeon series. Anyway, if you have the crystal bud, you still need a mate. Or you think you're gonna find someone to marry your ugly mug? <laughs> Are you blind? She's standing right next to me! You dumb baboon. Shoink. Oh, her? I didn't notice. She looks way older than your preferred age group. So, yeah. Here's where I start explaining how the American release is much kinder to Bart. Slash values dissonance between the United States and Japan. Um, it's mentioned elsewhere that Bart prefers... Um, uh, in the U.S. version, it's he prefers 17-year-old girls, which happens to be Cecilia's age. Um, no. Or 17 or older, I should say. That's not what the Japanese version said. The Japanese version indicates that Bart's a pedophile, basically. Or an ephibophile, I should say. But, um, yeah, he aims for 12-year-olds. Bart's 34. Yep. Oh boy, is this creepy. Good, we'll hold the wedding tomorrow then, okay? Okay, there you have it. I look forward to tomorrow's festivities. Yep, Cecilia's getting married. Get my big mouth. What wall are you gonna do now, old boy? Excuse me, what, what are a way to that? We must go through with it, the wedding! I must deceive them or I'll be laughed out of town. You, you don't mean. No, 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 mm mm. Nope, 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 nope. Either way, they'll think you were in on my scheme. Give you the tour of my ship? We must plan for tomorrow. Uh, I wanted to get out so I can go open that treasure chest. So we're on the sweet candy. Fake wedding is tomorrow. Read up on customs by tomorrow. Give it up, princess. Because of this, we're able to get on board the ship. We were on board earlier. This is not the only way. I think you're having too much fun. Ah. Uh, Alright, so basically what we need to do... Because this is a minigame, effectively, and there's not too many of those. Is that we need to find out what the rules are for a wedding at sea. And memorize them. We get better rewards for doing better at the wedding, so to speak. No, I do not want to rest. We are stuck here for a little bit. Because of course we are. This is also our only chance of investigating Sweet Candy. I feel sick. Peed in the ocean, and the ocean guardian, Lucadia, got angry. So, yeah. Don't piss off the ocean guardian, you get seasick. Got it. Sailor's life involves sleeping, eating, and working with other men. That's why we have all the special ceremonies led by women. Okay. Don't worry about it. Drake knows the marriage is a fake. We sailors use the stars to navigate the ocean. The old moon not only tells us our location, but also tells us the weather. Important marker for sailors to remember. The wedding, the bride and groom are called toward the minister. Let's go down further. The new moon is too unpredictable to use as a navigational aid. Something up with that new moon. A fake wedding? But that's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. What, a fake wedding? You know, I've never actually been in a fake wedding. I wonder what that would be like. The more expensive the jewel is, the better the future it brings. 
This water lily flower is the ultimate jewel. Engine room. Yep, engine room. Because this is a mechanical ship, don't ask. Tom the repairman. The captain's fiance's name is Olivia Claire. Who's this woman? Yeah. Bart's engaged to be married. Wouldn't propose to, you know, the person that he's engaged to be married to? No, that would be too easy. You have to propose to somebody who is half your age. Creepy. A statue of a monster in the cargo hold. The skipper got it as a fee for passage from the merchant. I'm sure it's of no value. Just between you and me, the skipper only likes 18-year-old women. That's right, it specifies 18-year-old. Yeah, that's more between you and me. The skipper likes um, young girls. It's freaking creepy. That's not a cargo hold. Anyway, that's the statue. I wonder if there's actually no loot on this ship. I'm going to double check because this is definitely a I only get here once thing. Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay. All right. I'm going to save first. Because if I mess things up, bad things happen. All right, are you ready? I don't know if you can possibly ready be ready for this. Oh boy. So in my mind, I've basically sequence broke at this point. But we'll find out. It's a mild break right now. This is probably intentional. All right, it's the day of the wedding. The busy day begins. gathering here under the eyes of the guardians. So, first thing that happens is that the bride walks forward. Bride, what is your name? So, that's the truth. So, the bride's fiancé, or the groom's fiancé's name is Olivia Clare. Who's the man that you're giving your love to? Barn to me! Yes, barn to me. Oh, it's dear Barthy. What's the name of the ship that will be your second home? The Crackpot, yes! <laughs> um, the Old Moon is the one that will guide us because the New Moon's too unreliable. Hold up the glass. Glass? I don't remember talking to anybody about that. I'm gonna guess. Oh, okay, that worked. The Jewel of the Future is the Crystal Bud what we journeyed for. We're the 8th. The Sea Guardian is Lucadia, not Arcadia. Although that's a tricky one, given that Arcadia could have totally been a Sea Guardian. And you know what? Go for it. Kiss the Bride. No, no, I'm very particular. You're too old. Ugh. And it's time! It's time for the best part of this! Yep. This is my ringtone, by the way. Haha, <laughs> I've got it this time! My name is Zed! I will hack the statue into pieces with my blade! Statue of the Seal! Is he one of the demons? I can't really tell. I'm feeling great today, and so does my blade! Haha! <laughs> and he bounces, too. No, he's just dumb. You so-called warriors will die before your sacred statue. Ha-ha! Yep. 
Zed is so awesome, he has his own battle theme. Come now, it's my debut! Zed is my favorite boss ever, by the way. So, there is a Comic Relief boss set in every Wild Arms, or at least the ones that I've played. Um, Wild Arms 1 has Zed, Wild Arms 2 has two of them, and Wild Arms 3 has four of them. All in one grouping. So you fight them all at the same time each time. It's awesome. Oh, poor Zed. I can't remember if I can steal anything from Zed or not right now. I don't think Light Blow actually does anything in this case, but we'll find out. Garu Ichimanakari? So, they intentionally transliterated everything for him. Or, not transliterated. Um, just used the Romanji. It's Wild Arms 2 is the one that they transliterated. So, I'm going to try to catch some of Zed's attacks to figure out what the translations are. Uh, actually, let me check the wiki first to see if it's just on there. That would make sense. Yes, it's just on there. It's easier to Google this way. So, that one that he just did... Uh, I can only find... Um... Uh, dang it. That's actually just from Zed. So, let's see if I can find these one word at a time. So, Ichimonji is some type of sword. Probably a specific sword. Garyu? It's a person's name. Okay. Good to know. Also, Jack got biffed really hard, and I just noticed. Meteor dive. Um... Zed doesn't really use magic right now, so... Valkyrie. And punch to the face. I have to be careful because Zed is actually very fast. Zed's one the second fastest enemy in the game? Or of the time that you fight him, Zed will be the second best enemy in the game. Oh, okay, he's immune to one of those elements. Good to know. And I don't know which one. Great. It's probably Earth, actually. Knowing what I know about Zed. Anyway, you're meteor dived. Um, you're going to Mystic Heelberry. You're going to lock on and fire with your hand cannon. Doombringer! That might actually kill Jack. No, okay, good. Doombringer is a lot more dangerous later on. Because, oh yes, we're fighting Zed multiple times. <laughs> Zed actually looks fairly handsome from this perspective also. I cranked up the volume on this, by the way. That was less than his normal attack. Bow, bow, bow. 
Okay, I need to actually heal Jack instead of just trying to keep up with Mystic Healberries. Mama Gold! This probably won't do much damage because. Rudy. Yep, it did nothing. Maybe he's immune to fire, actually. Heal spell on Jack. Punch. Doom bringer. Doom! Doesn't actually do that much damage right now. That's because I actually upgraded my equipment. I'd be in real deep trouble if I hadn't done that. Okay, Jack's feeling much better now. Probably dead this round is my guess. This is our new summon, Gi Rabantos. I don't I think this might not actually do any damage now I think about it. Yep, it's instant death. Which there's not much in the way of instant death you can cast as a um PC. I'm actually almost out of magic, wow. Um It's a waste, but it'll work. Doombringer. Yeah, Rudy's still fine. <laughs> Meteor dive. I'm surprised Zed's not dead yet. There we go. Hey, this isn't fair. It's three on one. Well, next time it'll be one on one. <laughs> You may have won this time! Next time, it won't be so easy. Glad we fought well against that fool. We saved the statue. Oh no, here too! I don't know what that's supposed to say, actually. I don't want to die, but I don't want to go through this ether. I'm better off dead. No, I don't want to become a star. It's too soon. Help! The wedding is ruined! Yeah, I really don't understand what this particular part of the sequence is, other than they're panicking. May the Guardians protect us. Against what? We killed Zed! It's because there's something in the back, it's just... They're not giving you any indication of that happening. This must be another one of Bartholomew's bluffs. I'll have none of it! Nope. So, I have to work after all. That fool was a decoy! Yep. Jeez. So, you're an expert with fast draw, huh? Huh. Looks more like fat draw. <laughs> Hark! By the way, Harkin is stupid powerful. You don't deserve to die by my hands. Yep, just sliced it in half with that scythe. Well, even if the seal's broken, my wishes will be still carried out by the innocent one. Take my power and let the battle begin. 
I'm Nua Shox, and I will fight by your side. Think Thunder Rune. Once again, we couldn't protect the statue of the seal. The last one is located in St. Centaur. We have... Interesting. So it does actually think about what happens if you do this in a different order. Does she also use the fast draw? Huh. That means something, by the way, if it wasn't very obvious. I'm already healed. Captain's waiting. Telling you this is all for the best. What is? Hope this kind of thing doesn't happen again. It's not funny, you know. It's not good for my heart, either. You think? Drake ran away, that coward! I've had enough. Greetings, my friends. I must apologize. Somehow, the wedding was called off, but we were still able to fake it all. Heard you guys were looking for a statue. This isn't a statue, but you can have this. Have 5,000 Gela, and a Mega Berry, and a Lucky Card, and a full revive, and Wand! Yes! The Magic Wand is a very interesting item. If you hit an animal's head with it, you'll be able to understand what they're saying. Remember all of those dogs and cats and the big fluffy puppy that we encountered earlier? Yep. We can talk to them now. And it makes a silly sound effect, too. We can leave for Port Timney at any time. Yeah, let's just leave for Port Timney. Alright, we're back at Port Timney. Just checking up on IRC really fast, making sure nothing is going on. Okay, nothing is going on, that's good. We're back in Port Timney, and we had puppies in here, so we better talk to them. We also had a treasure chest that we needed to pick up that I kept forgetting to. So, puppy was down here, wasn't it? No. Up here, then. Why did he fake that wedding? I would have married him for real. Yep. The demons were responsible. We saw it for ourselves. Oh, I remember how to get over there now. Blow up this box, which gives you access to walk along this path. Grab this, which is the duplicator. About freaking time. Alright, so. What happens if I duplicate the duplicator? I mean, I've duplicated duplicators before, but I've never skipped part of this. Yes, reload my ammo, please. Thank you. Go ahead and save. I'm probably going to back up files after this, because I've backed up up to and including 13. And we're up to 9 already. Uh, it just dawned on me that I could actually enable kitty cam. Because there's a kitty right there. Yeah. I can hear the voice of pain. The voice of sadness. I can feel the screams of the human fools releasing me from these cursed chains. We're almost there. Vilgaia is practically ours. I'm still concerned about the humans who contacted the Guardians. I'm oh, sorry, wrong voice. I'm still concerned about the humans who contacted the Guardians. You screwed up again? Not once, but twice? Wait, is it screwed up yet? Interesting. This is the wrong FMV. Or not FMV, but wrong sequence. I think these humans are far too much for you to handle. Why don't you let me take care of them? I'm sure I can accommodate them. Damn you! Ah, just you wait! Stop it, Berserk. She's right, you know. The Elu and the humans have shown abnormal abilities when pushed into a corner. See, Siegfried is actually smart. 
We cannot afford any mistakes until the revival of our photosphere and Lord Mother is completed. Not you too, Zeke. I'll show you. I'll show everyone what Berserk can do! I will bring the heads of those humans and line them up right here. Guardians are not. They are history. You have such a temper, my fellow Duke. Here, let me see what I can do. Do what you like. Herc. It's been a thousand years since we came here. The loss of our homeworld, Hyades. By the way, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Hades, but they actually keep this translation, so I don't know. We came to this planet to make it our home. Power rules all. This place will belong to us. Only then will we... Crack, crack, crack. I liken that sound effect to somebody cracking their neck, basically. So, we have a duplicator now. And I want to see what happens... If we go overboard on it. Oh, it's not over here. Because I've never skipped Saint Centaur before. These are not difficult enemies, they're just fast. They do 11 to Cecilia, come on. Oh, I forgot to equip the Guardian. I'm pretty sure that Guardian's better than, um... It's probably either Jack or Rudy's Guardian. Thunder. Thunder is speed. Okay. Yeah, it's better than Jack's. Huh? Signed. Sea Dragon Vortex. It may not make for such a good tourist spot. And you also can see some bottles in the sea. Bottles are useful. They have random things in them. They could be messages. They could be items. They could be duplicators. Oh yeah, I was going to duplicate the duplicator. Sand Beast. Okay. Hillberry? <coughs> that actually hurt. Hillberry. Now I should have 254 duplicators. <coughs> Wing Blade! Hey look, air effect attack that I don't get any of those to speak of for a long time, which is unfortunate. I think that's a lot of hit points for random encounter. Hmm, and a lot of Gela. I might have been able to steal something from them now that I'm looking. Oh. So, I should have crap tons of duplicators now. Yep, 255 of them, that's good. I may actually keep the duplicators, by the way. Um. Because trying to find them is annoying in the game. There are so many needs for them. Sealed by magic. Duplicator. Because normally you're not supposed to be able to do this until you deal with Saint Centaur. So I'm seeing if I can actually skip Saint Centaur entirely. So this one should bring me back to um, Milma area where I can actually go back and open things up so this is the part you're not supposed to be able to do so at this point I can go for a large number of different spots in the world map so yep I am back over on the main continent area Remember the sign was over to the right telling us about the magic map? Let's go exploring, shall we? There's probably some type of pet over here. Isn't there like a pet that's guarding a door? Huge, rich, and full of water. Oh, 
I've already done that. I'm making sure I... Okay, I'm making sure I already have one of each. Okay. Because I know I skipped some items around, so I don't want to mess up too much. Yeah, maybe you should be nicer to people. If everybody's still saying the same types of things here, which makes sense. Nothing here has really changed, after all. We can even walk back to Adelaide at this point. I could have swore there was some type of animal here blocking the way or being nearby, that type of thing. I want to use the wand, dang it. If only I can use a wand on zone. There's the puppy. I'm a dog and I don't have any friends. I feel a little happier now that you've spoken to me. And now it moves around. There's radar. Yes. <clears throat> so. You heard that little ping? That means that there's something else on the map that actually still has an item in it. At least one other thing. But I noticed that this is a lot easier than searching every barrel. One of the reasons why I wanted to come back here early. Unfortunately, that means two dungeons that I can't return to to be sure of things. wishes he had somebody to help him. Okay, not in here. And the radar is completely accurate, by the way. And when you actually see the thing, you'll understand why I'm not even paying much mind to what's going on at this point. There's definitely still something around here. Aha, there it is. Hillberry. Still something else here. Probably in this direction would be my guess. There's a puppy down there. Oh, here's a weapon shop. Oh, no, this is Armmeister. Okay. I'll be happy to play with your arm again. Yeah, Matthew's creepy. Just saying. I don't even think I walked over here. No, I did. I remember the, do you consider yourself great? Uh, let's see. What do you have to say, puppy? We know a lot more than humans sometimes. Yep. Alright, there's still something else here. You see what I mean by I may end up just continuing to keep the duplicators? Because this is... In theory, I can probably find a second duplicator somewhere. But in practice, it's going to be much easier for me to do it this way. Don't know. I'm still deciding. By the entrance somewhere, maybe? There. Cute ribbon. 
headgear. I mean, it's only an extra plus one. There's still another item here. There it is. Ten gallon hat. Which is for Jack. Yeah, I was missing headgear. Still more stuff around. Ah, two items. One there, Mystic Apple. Other one around the back. Around the back. Crestcraft. And that's it. That's all the items in here. That's actually a lot of items. Hmm. Well, let's start going through each of the towns. This is a lot faster once I have level 2 magic, but I'll have to do for now. So once I have level 2 magic, I can teleport around, and that makes things a lot easier. Okay, well, we went to Milma. Uh, the Sand River is actually where, whatchamacallit, um... Uh, where we, where we would go next if we were skipping Saint Centaur. I'm actually going to run back to Adelaide really fast. I've got about nine minutes left, so I'm going to keep the Sand River for the next time. I'm totally doing this in the wrong order, by the way. I think I've actually sequence broke. Nothing in this zone. Nothing in this zone. I should probably switch over to the lighter. Oh, right, need bombs. Ugh. I usually don't go back to Adelaide until after I have teleport, just because I don't have to deal with the stupid bomb situation. Oh, come on! I just did all of that and I forgot to save! <sighs> Dang it! <sighs> well, let me get back to where I was, which is not sequence breaking. Grr. Well, I think I'm just going to call this one an early one, and then I will deal with this later. Um, bye, Internet. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.